I'm looking across the dance floor like, damn! What's up YouTube, it's your boy Manok once again and this is Manok Presents Sailor Stories where I talk about stories when I used to be in the Navy. This is episode 7, PARTIES! Part 2. So on last episode, somebody told me your stories were whack and basically you only had one story out of the whole thing. You just explain how the clubs were. So this time, I'm going straight to stories about party. I'm going to start it off with one. When we were in Tokyo, it was about 10, 9, 45-ish. We were hitting up this club called Copacabana. I was hanging out with my friends, my best friend Papo, Luigi, Mario, Cruz, and some of the other guys that were co-workers and went with us to Tokyo that night. So, we go into Copacabana. It's about $15 to get in. And as soon as we go in the club, I'm looking across the dance floor like, Damn! And everybody's looking at this one chick that she's looking bad. But I'm talking about bad. Bad! She has this black dress on and she looks damn amazing. So as soon as we walk in, I see her, all the guys are like, damn, I'm going to ask her to dance and all that. I tell my best friend Lucas and I'm like, yo, I'm leaving with her tonight. And he, he, he laughs, he's like, alright bro, you got dips on it. So, I'm dressed with a tuxedo, I'm sitting at the club, you know. I get a Coke in my hand, you know, I'm sitting there. I don't drink, so everybody's thinking that's like rum and Coke or whatever. But it's just a regular Coke. I'm sitting there with a Coke, chilling. And then one of the guys is like... Comes up to her and he's like, hey girl, you look mighty fine. You want to dance? And she's like, Psst, no. I'm like, oh my bad, she, all right. Then he walks away. Then the next dude comes up. He's like, yo, you want to dance? She's like, nah, nah, I'm good. Thanks though. Then one of the other guys is like, man, don't even bother with her, dude. Everybody that's trying to ask her out to dance has been rejected. Why would she choose you out of all of us? And I'm like... Because it got skills. Then all of a sudden they play this song from We Sing in Yandel. It's called Nadie Como Tu. And then it starts like. Hace tiempo que estaba por decirte lo que me tiene loco. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm feeling this one, right? So she looks at me. I look at her. Then we all of a sudden start walking into the dance floor. I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, hi. And I'm like, what's your name? She's like, Nagako. And I'm like, you look fine. You want to dance? And she's like. Yeah, I wanna dance, okay. So all of a sudden we start dancing. The night went on. We we danced everything from reggaeton, salsa, hip hop, um, R and B. We were dancing for almost the whole night. At the end of it, I'm not not really the one to be like, Oh, give me your number, girl, what's up? So I was like, you know, it was it was nice meeting you, it was a pleasure, um, Hanging out with you, so at that time it's around 2.45ish. And she's like, I don't want you to go anywhere. I want you to go with me. And I'm like, okay. So I'm like, but I'm with my buddies. So she's like, oh, don't worry, I got you guys. So we go into this club, this trance club. She's like, she pays off the bouncer and they let us in. And we go inside the club and it's like pounding. It's like the bass is like boom, 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 boom. We're all like, damn, this is loud. It was crazy. She had some friends over there, and our friends started talking with their friends, and she started talking more with me. She gave me her phone number. We was just chilling, having a couple drinks. Again, orange juice, Coke, and all this stuff, because I don't drink. By the time we leave the place, it's 4 in the afternoon. Everybody was like, damn, what the hell? It is late as hell. And I'll never forget that. That was a hell of a party right there. Also... When DJ Tiesto, who, those who don't know about DJ Tiesto, he was the number one DJ in the world for like three years in a row, doing um, techno trance, making instrumentals. He's done collaborations with Shane Kingston, 3-6 Mafia, and a bunch of other artists. He's also done remixes to the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, instrumentals and all this different stuff. So he's a really good DJ. He went live on Tokyo, and the place was crazy the dance floor itself could hold about 
7,000 people. Just imagine a dance floor. 7,000 people. And that place was packed. I had VIP tickets. I went with my friend Sanchez, his wife, and a couple of other guys that we met up in the club. And that place was super packed. They were playing music all night long. We were there till like 6 or 7 a.m. And it started like late at night, like 10, 11 at night. It was so crazy. You go in there and it's like 15 to 20 females to every guy. There was so much females. Oh my God, so much females there. It was like kind of like a concert type. He was throwing shirts. He was giving out CDs. That was a hell of a party. We spent all night there just chilling, listening to music, dancing, meeting a bunch of people, and having a blast. That was crazy, and it's one of the best experiences I've had in Japan and Tokyo. Well, that's it for this episode of Manok Presents Sailor Stories. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please comment, like, and share. And I'll see you guys around.